and thanks for joining us. We're getting a first look at renderings for two major construction projects. Brazos County leaders say will expand the services they're able to provide its residents. Yeah, the funding for these projects is part of the more than $44 million the county received in pandemic relief grants and must be allocated by the end of the year. Donnie Tuggle has more on the projects. Brazos County is racing against the clock to green light contracts funded by pandemic relief grants. They've got until the end of the year to do so, as those funds under ARPA need to be spent by the end of 2026. The $24.4 million Brazos County Medical Examiner's Office is a top priority project. Currently in the design development phase, officials emphasize its importance in meeting both present forensic needs and future growth. As the county grows, it, it really broadens our abilities to add services to Brazos County. Um, for now, it's this medical examiner's office, but tomorrow it may be, it may be some other operation that we don't even know about that, that we can provide to the citizens of Brazos County. While almost 50% of funding is going to the new medical examiner's office, just over $10 million is being spent to renovate the county administration building and turn this space into new offices. Brazos County Judge Dwayne Peters says the project involves adding a second floor to the former church sanctuary and renovating the north wing of the building to accommodate human resources, records management, and other departments. We're pretty much out of space, so these are things that we're doing to try to, to look at the future and be sure that the county is prepared for the growth that's coming. We're, we're going to get that growth whether we like it or not, so uh, we just need to be prepared for it. As for the remaining funding, around $6.4 million remains unallocated, while roughly $3 million was used for initiatives like vaccine distribution, broadband expansion, and nonprofit support during the early pandemic stages. And Brian, Donnie Tuggle, News 3.